Hi everybody, again, tutorial, this is for the instrument cluster. Now, before we get to the schematic part of it, anybody who's ever turned on the car, you turn on the, the, the ignition, and you see the dashboard, you see all these lights come on. <clears throat> that has to do with the instrument panel, giving you warning lights. And also, obviously, you have the meters, the gauges, warning you of fuel, is low oil pressure and things like that so <clears throat> to start off first of all when you put on uh, you switch the, the ignition to, to, to start uh, and accessories also that the lights that come on are different colors and why is that some of them are red some of them are yellow and orange well there's a reason for that though the ones the warning lights that have to do with safety are in red for example safety belt seat belt is in red brakes is in is in red battery is in red that means this is a priority it has to be done right away therefore they are in red almost like <clears throat> when you come to a, a stop um, a red light you stop same thing these warning lights are in red to tell you that hey fasten your seat belt or you have a brakes problem or you have a battery problem take care of it right away the other ones are in yellow or orange like a check engine light the famous one that we that we hate well that's a in yellow or orange whatever you want to call it and that means take care of it soon when you get a chance. Not priority right now because it's not in red, but take care of that or your ABS or similar things like that. Where do these lights come from? Anyway, this is the instrument cluster. An instrument cluster has signals going into it. Serial data, ignition, B plus going to it, just like any module park switch when you go shift gear it tells you right here which one you're in that's an input to this serial data ignition three vehicle speed sensor vss is vehicle speed sensor these are the pins a3 a4 a5 a6 these are the pins on the module the instrument cluster so it tells you the speed the speedometer these are the gauges, whether it's in digital, whether it's analog, doesn't make a difference. Cooling temperature, we all know usually it's in the middle around 190, 200, depending if you have the air conditioner on, fuel, how low your fuel is. And I'm going to make a video about the fuel. When you get to low fuel, it doesn't really mean you're out of fuel exactly. It still means you have about, about two, three gallons. You're about uh 15 percent so you're not really empty at all but we'll see that later volts after you turn on you crank on the engine in the start position the alternator takes over and you should be around 14.1 14.3 on a colder day you're going to be more than that a temperature compensation the commenter how much RPM you're doing. On a cold day, you're going to be high RPM, 1,000, sometimes over, until you finally come down. When you're in closed loop or open loop, you're still in open loop, actually. And you're going to come down to around maybe 700, 800. Sometimes they have a tachometer. Sometimes they don't have some cars. doesn't matter. Oil pressure, spoke about it, is the oil pressure. And usually about three gallon, three, uh, yeah, when you're about three quarts, I'm sorry, three quarts down, oil pressure will be affected, and then you'll see it. Speedometer, how much your speed is. Now, airbag indicator, all these are LEDs. What's an LED? LED is a diode that emits lights. The voltage drop across them is more than a regular diode, which is 0.6 for a regular diode, silicon. These are about 1.2, 1.6, and it gets a B plus from here. And then it's gonna, everything is gonna be lit. So, therefore, since everything is gonna be lit, <clears throat> when you first start the key, 
to make sure everything is working and to show you everything <clears throat> charge indicator security low fuel to make sure everything is where all the lights are working and everything is working proper in instrument cluster then high beam you have these bulbs are illuminated left turn right turn all these things are warning lights seat belt like we said these arrows means that it's giving off light in this case it's a led service if you're in a four-wheel drive it'll tell you gauges check the gauges anti-lock upshift all these things your, um, your gate is open your trunk is open so certain things it'll tell you and how does this come about from all the inputs and usually you need about maybe 11 11.5 volts to get this started this cluster so if you do not have enough battery cranking you need maybe 300 amps maybe sometimes more depending how many cylinders you have if you still have 11 volts 11.5 volts you can still this an instrument cluster can still light but you won't crank an engine because you still don't have enough current to crank the starter to crank the engine so take a look at this they're all inputs serial data and we'll discuss this in, an, in another another one well, these are fuses that go they get b plus into these things these are more connections that go into these into this instrument cluster from battery from serial data we'll explain all this in a different video thanks for watching